What's up everybody? This is Brad. This is the Twin Rivers Transport Channel and uh, this is my hotshot channel. On this channel we do talk about hotshotting. The uh, good, the bad, the ugly, the ups and downs. Today I'm at home. I've been off since Friday. And uh, man, I've been watching some videos on some upcoming things we have going on in the future and it's alarming. Well, I am at home, I'm in the office and uh, got a cool little office, got maps, huge maps posted up on the walls and all that, uh, several computers and all that. So that's where we do our dispatching and paperwork from. But <clears throat> the reason why I wanted to make this video and it won't be too long is um, I do, you know, being as I am a small business owner doing transport, I, it is my responsibility to know the laws and the, you know, the guidelines and all that. And, um, there's something that's in the works that's pretty alarming and, um, it would affect my business. And it'll affect a lot of other people's businesses. California just passed a law called the AB5 law. And basically this law permits owner operators from leasing on to companies. And basically how the law is wrote is it, dis it disables business to do relationships with other entities in the same line of work. Meaning, I have my own authority. I have three guys I'm about to lease on here in the near future. And if they're owner operators, so technically, if they file their LLC and all that, EIN number and all that, they're their own business. They just subcontract through me. And, um... This California law, the AB5 law, is saying that um, you're not going to be able to do that anymore. So, today is June 21st, and on June 24th, they're going to um, take this in front of the Senate and basically go over this, or possibly go over it. Um, the, um, person that just reviewed it last said there was no reason to go over it. Um, but this is pretty alarming, especially to, um, especially to my business. You know, my business, we, uh, we've done every single bullet point that we said we were going to do. We started our business, structured everything pay almost $40,000 a year for insurance. We do everything by the book. And in year two, we were gonna start growing. We we're gonna start growing. We got a good customer base as of right now. So the goal for, and I just talked to uh, an insurance broker today to structure my insurance based on what we're trying to do as a business. And uh, basically she said, are you trying to lease on a whole bunch of people? Are you trying to have like, a certain amount of people? Are you trying to keep it how you are? And um, you know, I told her, no, I don't want to be that company that gets 12 trucks right out of the bat. I don't, I care about my name. So we've gotten our direct customers over our name, um, showing up, doing a good job, doing check calls, showing up with good equipment, having good customer service skills. So, you know, I told her, you know, maybe you'd like to add five, six in the first year. Um, and that's been the plan all along, is to do a controlled growth because the money's gonna come in. And 
I don't want to take on so much I neglect drivers because that's what happens. A lot of these companies take on so many drivers um, that they're really not ready for them. So you'll have one guy dispatching 10 trucks. Uh, is that right? No, I don't think it is because People spend the money to get in this. They quit their jobs. They go into debt and they're promised something. Hey, you come with us, you can make this, 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 and this. But if you grow so fast and you don't add dispatchers, or if you're training new dispatchers, which is not bad, but if you have one dispatcher that's dispatching 10, 12 trucks, who's that good for? It's good for the company, not the drivers. I'm all for the drivers. So this year we plan on adding drivers. But what's alarming is this AB5 law. And it, it, you know, it's not just that. I watched a video the other day on uh, that Toe Piglet did. Toe Piglet, for anybody that doesn't know who he is. He has a big hotshot channel. And basically when I knew I was gonna do hot shotting, you know, I did what a lot of people do. And uh, you know, I researched through YouTube. And he had a channel that was appealing to me. Um, he was running non-CDL and I knew I wanted to run CDL hotshot, but the basic groundwork was still the same. Two or three days ago, I watched a video where he is closing up his doors. And, you know, it all had to do with insurance. When I first got into this field, I watched so many videos and I, you know, how to build companies, how to structure companies. And there was a handful of people that all said the same thing. Bullet point one, get an insurance quote. And you know, I saw that and I was like, you know what, I don't even, it's all good, it don't even matter to me. Um, and then I found myself searching for insurance for two months, trying to get the best rate because that is, other than fuel, our biggest expense is insurance. Insurance has, in my personal opinion, way too much control over this um, industry. They can make or break you, literally, literally. Being as I was a brand new MC, brand new startup, I could only get in insured through Progressive. So 19 out, of, 19 out of 20 people, brand new numbers, are probably gonna only be able to go through progressive. So in reality, progressive can charge what they want. Supply and demand. They're the only ones supplying it. You know, we started all ours out at 37,000 a year, two trucks, comes to 1,600 a truck. You know what, uh, it's, there's, there's, when you tell that to people, there's two things. They're either like, oh my God, that's terrible. You should have leased on somewhere. Or, they're like, that's a good quote. To me, I thought it was a good quote because I knew I was gonna be spending anywhere from about 1200 to about 2300 a month being a brand new startup. Um, so we came in at 16, we have top tier insurance, our, our trucks, trailers are fully covered through Progressive, everything, comp, collision, everything, uninsured motorists, everything is covered on that plan. But what is alarming is how much control that these people have over my business. And I really thought about that after I watched Toe Piglet's video. And you know, I've, I've had this YouTube channel for about two years now. And um, he was one of the first people that reached out to me. Hey Brad, you know, putting out good stuff, man. Keep up the good work, you know. And in that two years, there's been, you know, 50 channels pop up. Uh, me, 
I don't really post about, you know, I, I see something, I'll post on it, like this law, I post on it, because there's a lot of people watching, wanting to make the same moves that I did, and um, I try to give honest feedback, not biased. There's a lot of people in this industry that give biased feedback, they're like, oh, I'm doing it, man, it's all good, man, you, you'll make a me like, nah, man. Like, I try to give honest feedback. Can you come out here and do this and make it? Absolutely. Absolutely. But, you know, there's a flip side of that, too. Can you go into debt, quit your job, come out here and fail? Absolutely. You know, so it's, it's best to really, really educate yourself. But, tell big one. Good luck wherever you go, bud. But anyways, man, it's just sad how much uh, control insurance has over this industry. I come up for renewal. Like I said, I talked to a lady today. In this year, we've passed all of our level ones, our level twos, our driver score is good, our safety score is good. So I know we probably have another year um, before insurance companies really start competing for us. But man, these are the things you gotta think about if you're getting into this field. One law could come into effect and kind of derail your whole um, vision, your whole um, business plan. You know, my business plan was to get in, hit it hard for a year or two, put somebody in my trucks, get a good customer uh, base, get some good directs, start leasing out on the ROPS, uh, kind of fall back because I'm more valuable behind the desk. I'm just out there running because I have ran a business. Um, I'm more valuable on this end, but right now everything's critical. Our name is the most valuable thing being brand new. So me and my partner got out there, got in the trucks, um, and just really beat the streets to get our name out there. So that was huge. Uh, but as we go into this next phase, um, I'm going to find somebody good to drive my truck. I'd like to get about seven or eight on ROPS because we do have about three or four people that can keep us all the way busy now. Not just using load boards to fill in the gaps. But, um, you know, it's laws like this that come in that just literally, um, literally can flip everything that you have going upside down. Look at Toe Piglet. Dude done everything right. They raised his insurance rates. They raised it to where his drivers couldn't be profitable anymore. So it's alarming, man. I don't know if, uh, I don't know what's going on, but you know, I, I know we're gonna be all right right now. Um, I do have some other lines of business in the work today. I do have a meeting with somebody uh, sitting down with them being partners on doing businesses on what I used to do. Um, audio, video, lighting, programming, staging, scenics, um, tech work, but um, I'm not giving this up. You know, I've always wanted to do this. You can make money doing this. Thinking about maybe just once we do get to that place, having cash flow come in, take a step back, letting Sarah run it because she's doing all of this and um, focus on other uh, streams of income. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about the video. Is this alarming to you guys? What do you think? Um, you owner operators that are um, coming in or thinking about coming in. I mean, this right here could kill everything that you have going, but um, we're just gonna be a way around it. So, but anyways, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to it. On this channel, we do talk about Hotshot. And uh, you guys be safe out there. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.